Okay, I'm going to go with this question. We're going to solve the equation cosine 2x equals a half, and we've got a nice domain here for x. So the first thing I want to uh, do, should let you know, this is probably a non-calculator question. But the first thing is, I see a lot of students who see the 2x, and they think it's got something to do with double angles, but it hasn't. All I'm going to do to begin with is take away the cosine. So I'm going to take an inverse cosine of both sides. So if you're using, if you could use your calculator, you'd make it um, cosine to the negative one and a half, and it would throw out some results. Now, as this is a non-calculator one, I'm going to work out those without a calculator. Now, the answer to that is pi over three is one of the answers. There's, there's a lot more. In fact, there's an infinite set of answers. Now, I know that from using a triangle with sine pi over six is a half and so on. Now, there's more than just one answer to that. By the way, if you don't know where I got that from, you might want to look at the exact trig ratios that we need for IB. But there's another answer for that. This is in the first quadrant. The next answer comes in the fourth quadrant. And that's going to be 2 pi. Take away this. So that gives me 5 pi over 6, over 3 rather. Now I'm just going to stop and reflect on these two answers before I go any further. First of all, the domain is between pi and 2 pi, but this one's clearly out of the range of the domain, but that doesn't bother me at the moment. All I want to do is to find a nice set of solutions for 2x, and I'll think about the domain afterwards. Now, I've done these two, but what I could have is I can add 2 pi onto this because the cosine graph is circular. So we have one answer, i draw it up here. We have one answer here, comes into the negative and it goes up into the positive here and there's the other answer and this is pi over three then the cosine curve starts to repeat so we have another answer which is two pi more than this first one so i have another answer which is seven pi over three that's two pi from here and i'm going to add two pi onto here to give me 11 pi over three and i could keep doing this i could keep carrying on for as long as i need in fact, I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to add 2 pi onto here to give me 13 pi over 3. But I'm going to stop there. There could be more that I need later. Now it's a very simple process of saying, let's divide each one by x, by 2 rather. So I'm going to divide this one by 2. So I've got 2x here, and I just want x. When I divide this by 2, I get 6. Now that clearly isn't inside my domain, so I don't need that one. So I just put a little cross by that. This one is 5 pi divided by six by two, five pi over three divided by two, which gives me five pi over six. Again, that's not inside my domain, so I don't want that. This one, seven pi over three, which becomes over six. That one I want, that's bigger than pi and less than two pi. The next one, 11 pi divided by six, and that's just a bit less than two pi, so I want that one there. And I've done this one as well, just to show you that I would do 13 pi divided by 3 divided by 2, 6. And that one is just a bit bigger than 2 pi. So I want these two answers here. So the trick to this question is, is get rid of the cosine, put down all the answers and forget about the domain, and then worry about the domain on the final line when you divide.